Missed hospital appointments, workers late for shifts, pupils not getting to, getting to school on time. Bus passengers are getting a raw deal right now because there aren't enough drivers of buses. New figures show that almost one in ten jobs for bus drivers aren't being filled, with even higher vacancy rate for coach drivers. Graham Vidler is the CEO of the Confederation of Passenger Transport, which represents bus and coach drivers, and is with us this morning. Graham, good morning. Morning, Graham. So what's the problem? Uh, so the problem is, as you, as you said in your introduction there, Graham, there simply aren't enough bus and coach drivers at the moment. And unfortunately, that means on a small number of occasions, we're having to, to let passengers down. Uh, what sits behind that? I think there's a, there's a few things going on. Uh, firstly, I think in the wake of Brexit, lots and lots of drivers who'd come from the EU decided to return home. Secondly, throughout the pandemic, lots of people, not just bus and coach drivers, but across the economy, changed their attitude to work and decided to leave the labour market altogether or to start to work part time. And I think across the economy as a whole at the moment, um, there's a, a higher, highest level of vacancy that's ever been seen in the economy. So lots of problems coming together. And while operators are working really, really hard to invest in training and developing new drivers at the moment, we're, we're running just to stand still in terms of those vacancy rates. So let's say I want to become a bus driver. What, what, what qualifications would I need? Uh, you need to start with a driving licence. Uh, I've got one of them, will... yeah. Yeah, well, that's great. Uh, you need to be willing to work with people. You need to be organised, punctual, uh, attention to detail, all those sort of things. Uh, and if you've got all of that, which, let's face it, most of the population have, Work with us for a few weeks. We'll train you to, to drive a bus or coach, uh, show you the routes, get you out there on the road, uh, and, and off you go. Uh, it, it takes six to eight weeks typically. Uh, and any of your listeners who are interested in finding out more can, can read more and find local vacancies on our website, thankyoudriver.org. Do a lot of people, are they put off because they have to deal with the public? And let's face it, there's a, you know, the people say the, the, you know, the customer, the passenger is always right. The passenger can, can, can most time be absolutely horrible. Well, I think Graham, we we sort of focus on a on a relatively small number of passengers who who can be horrible, and and that sort of behaviour is is always unwelcome, isn't it? But the vast majority of passengers, I think, appreciate what the bus and coach driver does, uh, and and the idea behind our website, thankyoudriver.org is that bus and coach drivers are the most thanked profession in the UK. They, they, they get thanked dozens of times every day by, by passengers. Yeah. I, I, when I was on two buses at the weekend... And you always you always thank the driver, don't you, Perrin? Uh, yeah. Well, you, you, you meant, just you, do. You do. You're meant to, yeah. aren't you? Apart from in London. It's just natural. They don't do that in London, <laughs> do they? They're ignorant in London. Oh. Uh, thank you for joining us, Graham. Uh, I may sign up to be a, a bus driver. Oh, come on. Who knows? Give who, over. Who, who when knows? this dries up. Who knows? And it could dry up at any moment. Uh, a spokesman for the Department of Transport said, we continue to work with industry to attract and train workforce they need. To make recruitment easier, we have ramped up the capacity and vocational driving tests.